Hey guys, it's your host Matt here with Mental Health Reddit, back at you with another video again today. This video is based on a post by Redditor Millennium Greed. How do we get people to take mental health more seriously? As always, please let me know what you think in the comment section below, and how do we get people to take mental health more seriously? Let's find out. We talk about it openly. We let them see professionals and successful people acknowledge their own struggles. We do our best to understand ourselves and have the courage to admit our faults. A large part of that is being able to apologize for our actions or words that are out of character when we are experiencing hard times. Stop normalizing it. For the longest time, I thought what I was going through was completely normal because I've heard the phrase mental breakdown used so often. It said so casually by everyone else that I didn't really know what could be considered having a breakdown, and so I never said anything because I felt like my problems weren't significant enough. Talk about it. Adhere to laws to accommodate those with mental health, especially involving confrontations with law enforcement. Stop exploiting people with mental health issues slash mental disorders and others with disabilities or disorders. Stop trying to force change of people in general, especially children, who could just be showing signs of mental illness or disorders, and stop being open-minded in action while also listening to intent and motive behind people's behavior instead of generalizing one answer as ultimatum for each given behavior. People who get help, but the help isn't working for them end up committing suicide or hurting others. Seriously, it happens all the time, but it's never really talked about. Mental health is a tricky subject. It's all in the head. Not physically, someone else can see it. One of the most depressing feelings is trying to get help, but it isn't working. Meds are tricky too. If you stop taking certain meds for helping anxiety, depression, or anger problems, anything along those lines, you have major withdrawals, which makes people even more at risk. Paying lots of money because you don't have insurance or insurance can't pay. Just to talk to somebody who's professional. I get it. They need income, but then again, it's a hard subject. I have autism and currently on meds again and seeing a therapist. They aren't working for me. I still think about suicide every day before I go to bed. I'm getting both changed very soon. I feel like it needs to begin with schools. If we actually show kids that mental health really can hit a lot of people hard, not just saying, don't kill yourself, it's bad, or actually providing kids with good sources for help. If we learn about mental health, it could help a lot of people figure out what could be happening. I think it will take some time. We've started the journey, which is good. We, Western society, have tended to view it as a weakness. A person is weak-minded. Once we aren't the vast majority view it as an illness, we can make good strides. I also think there is a fiscal reasoning to, as I say before, weak-minded view. Many mental health care isn't covered by insurance, making it hard or impossible to seek help even if they wanted. Illness or injury is easy to see and can be visible so it is easy to understand. But mental illness is not straightforward like that and it can be hard to understand. It doesn't matter how much people talk about it if there isn't better access to mental health and hygiene help. There needs to be better access to mental health and hygiene help for marginalized communities, especially for people with financial stress. Given the state of healthcare in America today, I see no way that can happen in the next 5 to 10 years. Stop posting it on social media and actually look for help. I'm talking about the 12 year old girls who think they're depressed for some reason. Nobody is going to take them seriously if you post depression quotes every morning and have a broken heart as a profile pic. The more people talk about it openly and the more research that's put into it and the more stigma is removed, eventually people will take it more seriously. Just think, not that long ago people didn't take it seriously at all. We're not where we should be, but we've come a long ways. If you have a friend who is struggling, admit your struggles to them. Let them know that we all have them and that it's nothing to be ashamed of. That's what got me to open up and I admitted I needed help. I never had a problem seeking help for diabetes, broken ankle, serious cut in my hand. 
but I always thought emotional and mental struggles were off limits to talk about. When I heard it from society or just assumed to be the case, I just assumed men don't admit emotional or mental weakness for all the toughness I tried to present on the outside, I was causing more damage on the inside. Now I feel more free to talk about my struggles and I'm a much happier person and my friendships have grown closer. I'm also much more open with my wife and our trust has strengthened. It was scary to admit I needed help, but life is so much better since I did. This is a message we need to share to encourage others that don't feel ready to deal with it yet. I don't think there will be a way for a very long time. Mental health has just been such a secondary, almost nonsensical issue for much of the population for so long that I doubt we'll start making any progress on it within this generation. Especially in politics, people feel like they can just go, mental health is a problem, everybody should just be happier, and think it's all good and done. Or, as many point out, as something you just have as a little quirk to make you edgy and relatable. The only way I see it getting taken seriously is when inevitably gets to much worse to the point that it's the main problem, in one way or another for most people. When it stops being something people who suffer from are ashamed to talk about, and stops being a tag in Twitter bios and can't be used as a half-assed shield to pretend to care about massacres and astronomical suicide rates without actually lifting a finger to do something about it, and it becomes an everyday stress and confrontation to everyone, then people will start taking it seriously. I'm one of those who thinks psychiatry is largely bullshit. If you want to convince me, I want to see impartial studies showing that psychiatric methods are scientific, that they produce a net positive, trackable, quantifiable result. If two people go to the doctor with a broken arm, and only one goes to the doctor, the treated person will have a better result. Quicker recovery, less long-term injury. If such evidence exists, please comment below. I am not above changing my opinion based on new evidence. Evidence does not mean you being upset or shouting loudly. Alright guys, that's all for today. If you made it this far, thank you for sticking it out to the end. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. What are some ideas you guys have to make people take mental health more seriously? Comment your thoughts below. Thanks again for tuning in, and until next time, peace.